Hi everybody, it's Roxy from Feather Perfect Memories bringing for you today another Project Life process video. This is from my family album for week 15. Now this is a bit of a longer video because I have an insert in here and what I've done is I've just taken a design um, L insert and used it in this layout. Um, so I think I cut it down. I think the design L has the six um, vertical four by six cards and I cut it down just to make it four so it's kind of like a little insert in between so here I am working on the left hand side now I gotta say I really struggled with this layout I don't know if it was my frame of mind for this day or not I had to come back to it several times and at one point in time my daughter did come and sit on my lap and you do see me get frustrated so as <laughs> I, I just I think I roll my washi tape across the layout because I'm just like oh I, I got to come back later. Um, so I've used the paper issue swag bag for March and April. I kind of um, had them both in those baskets so I've pulled everything out to have a look at it and see what I can do with that. I've also used some Gossamer Blue and Kaiser Craft cards and um, of course my Becky Higgins uh, Fresh 52 is my week card. So in saying that I am going to start on this layout so I kind of just um, went through and laid out everything that came in those two kits because I just really wanted to use them up um, and I thought those two kits kind of blended together really well and worked well for this um, bigger layout and this week's layout was bigger because this was the week of Easter. So on this journal card is where I start getting frustrated. This is the first card I try to work on and it just does not work for me. So I tried to stamp on this thing and then it didn't stamp right and this label and so I pulled it up and then I'm, you can see me getting uh, frustrated because I don't know what I want to do with this um, title card. I've pulled out this felt ribbon from an old freckled fawn kit and I think that I'm going to put that on there and I don't like it. <laughs> I, I don't think my um, mind was really I wanted to scrapbook but I had other things that were happening in the house. My daughter was sick. I had been sick um, so I just think it was not a good morning for me to try and tackle this. So here I'm digging through trying to find some washi that will work on this layout and um, seeing what I can find. I actually don't recall using any washi on this layout after all of that digging. That is hilarious. Here I am going, oh, I just got to come back later. Um, and then my daughter decides to come in with me. So she's sitting on my on my desk and pointing at everything and then she had her hand in her mouth and then she's gone and touched all of these photos <laughs> and then so I've got, I have to go through and wipe off her spit uh, so it just was definitely not the morning to do this here I am wiping off the spit and so I decided to come back later again <laughs> so here I am thinking more clearly so I've used a bit of a um, sticker sheet that came in that um, got a uh, uh, paper issue swag bag and it said remember this and I put that over the number 15 and then there was these gold alphabets and they were pretty but oh my goodness were they hard to get off the sheet and get onto the thing without peeling and ripping and so I really struggled with these alphabets um, but I stuck through it and used those alphabets throughout the entire um, six page layout if you include the insert one, two, oh no, one, two, three, four page layout, sorry, if you include both sides of the insert. Um, and so you can see, see me here struggling with this. And it just says April. And by the end of that, I did not want to do anything else. So I just hand wrote 10th to 16th in my own handwriting here. Because um, I was going to cut out or punch out a 10 and a 16 from this little bingo card or but there wasn't a 10 and a 16 and so then I went fine I'm just gonna write it in and be done with it because I have to be done with this card um so there was a acetate gold word that says treasure and that's this one here and so I'm going to use that on the bottom of the card and I'm just gonna staple it on and then I ran out of staples um, so just getting my staples out and filling that back up and then I will be moving on from that. 
Sorry, I was really tired this week. Both my daughter and I b both got sick and while my husband w was away camping for 10 days. So it was a really long week and I think that's why I was getting really frustrated the first couple times I'd sat down at this uh, table to get this done. Now these kits came with some straw, uh, with a straw, this black and white straw and I was like well I don't know how to use this. So I kind of just stapled it on there. I'm going to go back and cut it in half and kind of make it sit side by side with one um, alternating next to the other just because it looks funny with just the one piece. I did the the other half of the straw on the other side of the layout and I like the look of that a lot better so I will go back and fix that um, at a later time. Uh, so I'm just going to journal on this little journaling label and about um, this photo of me at work. So it's been busy at work lately so I wanted to document that. So it's just a stack of boxes and files at work and me looking crazy over at them thinking oh my goodness I have all this work to do. Sorry this is just a filler card and I've used this really pretty wood grain like seed packet um, thing and I didn't like the sentiment that was on it so I just used this little um, banner and put that over the top of that and then used a little circle that said uh, a die cut circle that said sup like what's up and so I'm just going to put that along the bottom and just kind of use it like as a filler card and then this is the little photo I'm working on of my daughter. I just put a label on there and I just wanted to document that she's been going to bed with a book every night so I just thought that was cute. Um, I did some geocache maintenance so I wanted to document that. That's the photo of me with a blue sky behind me. Um, and then that photo of my daughter is her and I on the trampoline. This was me trying to keep her entertained while we were both sick. So, you know, I wasn't feeling very well. So I was just laying on the trampoline as she was jumping around me. And, um, she was trying to get me up and jumping, but I just kept telling her, no, I'm sick. I'm sick. You got to jump yourself. Um, and then there's a bath time one and I do a lot of journaling about that. Um, and here my daughter sitting on my lap again. You can see her cute little chubby fingers there and her pointing everything out. Ooh, that's me, mummy. Yep, that's you. Yep, that's me sleeping, mummy. Yes, that's your bee book, mummy. Yes, yes. Oh, here, look, mummy. So that was that conversation. Um, she really enjoys all of my scrapbooking, but sometimes she definitely gets in the way. Um, so just finishing off that journaling, you can kind of see her poke down, poke in and down around that corner, um, every now and again. And just adhering another one of those stickers, and that one says remember, and there's like a little puffy pink circle. And so I just put that there. Um, and I think that's going to be this page, um, maybe not. I'm layering up so that... Label that I missed stamped on earlier, I've layered it up with this label just to do some journaling, just so it doesn't go to waste, um, and then um, wrote about that. So that is the left-hand side of the four spread um, page spread layout. So now I'm going to work on my insert. So this was the insert I was telling you about. It's a design L, and I just cut the right-hand side off of it. So that instead of being six four by six vertical photos, it was four. Um, and this e are, these are photos, well, two of the photos are my daughter, um, hunting for eggs, and then one on the trampoline and, and the selfie. So they all kind of made it onto this vertical page. So just doing a little bit of journaling about, um, her, ever since we got the trampoline, which it had only been a week by this point in time, she was out there every morning and afternoon before and after work and daycare. Um... And um, so I just kind of wanted to document that she's in her pajamas jumping on the trampoline. And I really wanted to use this pineapple for some reason. I really liked it, but it was huge. So I just kind of used it behind this photo and used the word I love you. And I thought it worked because she's eating an apple for breakfast. I'm talking about fruit. Pineapples are fruit, right? It works, right? Um, so I just kind of put it on that card. And then... Um, this is um, part of her Easter, so I'm going to use a little tag and write out Easter egg hunt with these gold letters and you are going to see me struggle. Um, so I'm going to find something to put it on. I had this little pink and white tag. It was so cute. So I thought, oh, it's going to go there perfectly. 
Um, so I struggle here for a while with these gold alphabets and I'm really happy because in the end it does look really good and I'm using up my stash and things that are coming and going and um, that's just a good thing. Um, so the other thing I did with this which I really enjoyed is you can see that um, tag kind of hangs over the edge of that picture. I end up trimming it and then putting um, putting the other half that tag on that next picture over so it looks like um, it was just kind of sliced down the middle and so I used the other half of it to journal on that other card because these two pictures are from the same event because she was um, hunting for Easter eggs so I just thought that worked really well so I did the journaling on the right hand side so there was these also in this um, kit you can see um, near my stapler it's these there's a brown circle and a pink circle and they looked like those ring binder things those little stickers you used to put over the holes for your ring binders at school um, but they were colored so I decided to use the pink one to go around the hole of this tag um, and then I'm digging out some twine which ends up being some little pink wire so I'm just going to just going to wrap this wire around um, my poking tool just to give it some interest and then cut the ends off and I'm going to you here's that little pink circle thing that I just told you about put it around that circle and then I twist it in and then flatten it down and um, to go beside that photo so I'd hear that down and trim it up and um, then I decide to put it onto this photo here so I line it up perfectly and adhere it down I put a little gold heart and the middle of that circle had a pink dot so I used that underneath the the heart I thought well you may as well use it all it comes in the kit so I just do that journaling about her Easter egg hunt underneath that gold star or gold heart there use a word sticker that says beautiful and I will trim up that pineapple when I realize it's still hanging over and pop everything into those pockets and then I will work on the reverse side um, so on this side it's still pretty much um, working on Easter so there's a Easter afternoon like a Saturday afternoon um, photo from Easter Saturday and um, to a collage from Easter Saturday and a collage from Easter Sunday and then a photo from Saturday afternoon as well. So I just kind of popped it all onto this page. I put a piece of washi tape down the bottom of that just to kind of ground that photo. It just felt like it was floating. And then just put um, a tiny word sticker that says thank you. And then across the top I journaled about what she's watching. So she got a new um, movie from her aunt for um, Easter. And so I just thought that little thank you was kind of cute. And to journal about um, that moment. I'm pulling out these alphabet stickers again and I'm going to write yum on this little um, label here. So I'm going to write Easter chocolate yum because it's um, her hunting down some Easter chocolate at her Nana's house um, and then eating the chocolate afterwards. So I just thought that was um, fitting to write Easter chocolate yum. There were some chipboard or wood veneer stars in this kit and so that ends up going onto this layout as well. Um, here we go. I will um, just glue that down there. And then I'm going to move on to this one. So this card says today is the day and I just um, did a little bit of journaling. It says Easter Saturday had a big play then came home to have a movie night. Um, and again I used another tiny word sticker that says thanks because it's about that movie and getting it from her auntie. And then this card down here, I had this little explore word and I just thought that was perfect for her um, collage of hunting Easter eggs. And that is the back side of that layout. So moving on to the right hand side to finish off this layout. On this side I wanted to do a shaker pocket um, because my goal is to do one shaker pocket for each month this year. So it's going to be 12 shaker pockets in this album um, this year um, and sorry I just wanted to get that out to warm up and then I'm just laying out all of my um, photos and cards so I'm just trying to go through see what I have left and I decide to fussy cut this little heart 
um, that came in the uh, paper issues kit. It came like on a cut apart sheet with four and I'd already cut them into the squares um, and then that one I decided to cut out the heart. Um, so I'm just trying to decide what I have here and here's this straw. So this side I cut in half twice. You know, I cut that in half. So I cut the original straw in half and only used half on the left hand side and then I cut the half in half so it's the quarters on this side and I decide um, I just have them playing around there at the moment but I end up putting them both together so I'm just trying to figure out what to do with this card because I really like this acetate piece that says hello beautiful and so I just put that over um, the blanket that my daughter is wrapped up in and here are those straws so there's that weird pie circle thing and then so I put those straws together, stapled them, and put the little pie piece over the top. And then because she's jumping with her daddy, um, this thing came with um, a little potty people. So I put a man and a woman potty people on that little pie chart thing. And it, it I think it works well. I mean, I don't think I would buy straws, but it came in the kit, so I wanted to use it. Um, and then I found this little... Um, bicycle that says you are my greatest adventure and I just thought it was so cute so I cut it into a banner on the right hand side and then decided oh I want it in a banner on both sides so I kind of cut it into like a little banner shape and then trimmed it down um so then I put that there and a little piece of washi tape and then a little sticker that says laugh often this is a photo that I took of my daughter at daycare they did a Easter egg hunt and they painted their face faces like little rabbits and then there's just a little puffy sticker and I have a little piece of a label sitting around somewhere and I'll um, put that on that card as well so it looks like I'm moving to this um, collage card here I put down a piece of washi tape and a label that just says Easter Parade at Daycare and that's all I do to that card otherwise it just gets too busy with those collages sometimes. Um, the one with Ayla and I together, the selfie, just says Grow Old With Me Darling. I'm going to use Darling in those um, alphabets, those gold alphabets will be there and that little star there. I just thought that was so cute. Um, I see people use um, stickers and um, and then alphabets to write their own titles. So I thought that was cute, the girl old with me, darling. I think I do struggle because I um, I wanted to put daughter or, or something like that. So I do struggle for a minute to get that little title going. Um, I put another um, collage down the bottom with a label on it and just says Easter egg decorating with rice and food coloring and a little potty person, it's a little female. Um, because it's her just doing it by herself. Um, let's see, what am I doing here? I'm trying to decide um, what I want to do with that card with Ayla and I. Oh no, I am writing Say Bunny, B-U-N-N-Y, um, instead of Say Cheese when, when you take a photo. I wrote um, with the alphabet Say Bunny. I just thought that was so cute. So I'm going to struggle with these again and then I do the Darling on the other one. So, the card with my daughter in the pink shirt, um, up above this um, card that I'm working on, she's eating some chocolate. So I've just used that fussy cut heart out and there's like a little arrow banner I've already put down there. And then I'll use another one of those tiny word stickers that says give and then I'll write chocolate. So it just says give chocolate. And here I'm going to write darling. Or daughter or something I went to write and then it didn't have enough letters um, here I am trying to figure out what I've got to write I'm going D A U G no don't have enough how about and um, oh because I already oh, I call her munchkin as well so I was gonna write munchkin and then munchkin didn't work um, so it ended up being darling so darling works as well um, so it turns out really cute now in the shaker pocket, I'm going to use um, some um, gold sequins from the Gossamer Boot, or uh, the Paper Issues swag bag. And then I have some blue sequin stars from a very old freckled fawn kit. It must have been, oh, sometime last year, middle of the year maybe, September maybe. 
Um, so quite old. They've been sitting on my desk. I haven't even opened them because I did not know what to do with them. I don't do sequins very well and that's why I really am um, challenging myself this year to do those sequins pockets or to do shaker pockets because I figure it'll use up some of these sequins. So I also put a wood chip um, star in there as well. So I'm just trying to figure out what I want in there. So I'm digging around um, and I thought I wanted this blue um, acrylic camera in there as well but then I thought well it doesn't work with the colors I wanted a pink one but I didn't have any of the pink ones left um so I end up pulling that out I, here I am opening that packet to the freckled fawn stars and it had stars what did it have in it stars and leaves or something so it must have been from fall um but I only pulled out the blue stars because I thought it went well with this layout so I've kind of pushed that down in there, taken out that acrylic camera, and then I'm going to seal my pocket, um, I think. Yes. So here I am going to seal my pocket. So like I said in my last video, I've, I was having trouble doing all of that, but now it seems to be working quite well. Um, I just had, was not pushing hard enough. So I'm just putting everything away, and then I will pull out all of the bits of the layout so you guys can kind of see. And so those are the two side by side and then the middle piece. So that is it for this week. I'd like to thank you um, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you hit that subscribe bu button. It always makes my day. And um, thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.